Hi friends, in this video we will discuss the conditions on between uh, step signal uh, and exponential signal. Uh, consider an LTI system with input sequence X of N and unit impulse response H of N. X of N is given and H of N is given. Uh, we have formula Y of N equal to summation over limits uh, K equal to minus infinity plus infinity X of K into H of N minus K. Uh, as per the formula, we have to first write given sequences x of n as well as h of n in terms of uh, index k that is x of k equal to 2 to the power k u of minus k. So u of minus k is nothing but step signal having amplitude 1. So this amplitude we can write x of k equal to 2 to the power k. If you replace this by 1, then it becomes the uh, index k is less than or equal to 0. Similarly, h of n minus k that is uh, u, of, uh, u of n minus k that is equal to 1 when as I told, we have to substitute, uh, uh, if you are discussing thoroughly, uh, here x of k equal to what? 2 to the power uh, k, uh, that is uh, u of minus k, uh, 2 to the power k, where k is less than or equal to 0, else it is 0. Similarly, h of n minus k means you have to put n equal to 0, we got h of minus k, that is equal to u of minus k. u of minus k equal to what? It is also 1, k is less than or equal to 0. So this is the first signal, uh, it is the mathematical representation, it is the graphical representation, same thing, if k, k equal to 0, what happens, 2 to the power 0, uh, at k equal to 0, we have 1, if we substitute k equal to minus 1, uh, 2 to the power minus 1, or we can write 1 by 2, if we substitute k equal to minus 2, it, uh, 2 to the power minus 2, or we can write uh, 1 by 2 to the power 2, that is 1 by 4, similarly goes on, uh, coming to here, uh, k equal to 0, 1, k equal to minus 1, 1, k equal to minus 2, 1 goes on. It is u of n. It is constant signal. We have to keep this signal constant and second signal keep on shifting in such a way that uh, we have to check overlap and non overlap cases. But coming to this example, both these sequences having uh, their what? Uh, uh, their amplitude only for the negative values, negative durations. Because of that reason, there is no chance of non overlap. Any case you can take, there is a chance of uh, overlap. So, let us take uh, overlap cases uh, from where to where uh, these two signals get overlap. Uh, starting with here, it is the uh, here it is what it is the reference point k equal to n equal to zero. N is the reference point. Here it is the reference point. First, if if uh, first case uh, if n is less than or equal to zero, this is the first signal as it is I sketched here. Uh, it is, this is x of k. Uh, it has amplitude one one by two. Uh, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, so on. It is the first signal as it is. Uh, what we taken? A reference point of circuit signal n is less than or equal to 0. This is here 0. If I take less than or equal to 0, if you take here, overlap, 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 goes on. See, this pen indicates first signal, this pencil indicates second signal. Both are continuous. So now tell me from where to where signals get overlap? Uh, in the first case, n equal to 0 overlap, this is the what? Uh, 0 is the reference point of first signal, n is the second point of ref uh, reference point of second signal, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Uh, it, uh, pencil indicates what second signal, it is what up to minus infinity. Pen also you can see first signal, uh, 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, it is also what up to minus infinity. So now from this discussion, we can say that from where to where get signals get overlap, otherwise you can take one more illustration. Second uh, illustration uh, here k it is the first signal x of k as it is a sketch constant second signal what is condition if n is less than or equal to 0 in the first case n equal to 0 we taken we got um, minus infinity to 0 overlap correct minus infinity to 0 uh, we got the overlap now for a second case if i take so minus infinity to 0 we got or we can say here 0 is there as well as n is there so for timing i will take from minus infinity to 0 or n now let us take the second case uh, if n is same uh, same case uh, second illustration okay if n is less than or equal to 0 if i take somewhere here goes on it is also minus infinity it is also minus infinity uh, well, here it is the reference point of second signal now tell me from where to where signal get overlap where to where the signal get overlap here also signal is there here also signal is there okay now we are uh, seeing that uh, both the signals get overlap means the pen as well as the uh, pencil part from minus infinity to what n but coming to minus 1 0 there is no overlap hence we can say that minus infinity to n there is a overlap hence we can write 
ends we can write instead of writing minus uh, instead of writing minus infinity what is the formula it is the formula for finding the convolution sum instead of writing uh, minus infinity plus infinity i will write uh, what is the overlap reason uh, minus infinity to n minus infinity to n x of k into h of n minus k next part is substitution of the values y of n equal to summation k equal to 0 minus infinity to n x of k is what x of k is what x of k is 2 to the power 2 to the power k 2 to the power k h of n minus k is what h of n minus k is 1 okay for the simplification yes for the simplification substitute 2 to the power k 1 and limits minus infinity to n minus infinity to n now uh, let us take k equal to i will multiply the index by minus 1 and hence it becomes uh, k equal to infinity minus 1 multiplication means plus infinity minus n 2 to the power uh, a plus is there minus k hence always you have to write a lower to higher so hence this is minus n to infinity uh, 2 to the power minus k we can write uh, 1 by 2 to the power k hence let us re-index this one i will take uh, l equal to k plus um, if you take uh, minus n towards uh, let us side it becomes k plus n re-index l equal to k plus n if it is l equal to k plus n what, what about k equal to k equal to l minus n so substitute here y of n equal to summation l equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 the 1 by 2 to the power uh, what is the k k equal to l minus n uh, separate the terms 1 by 2 to the power l uh, multiplied by 1 by 2 to the power minus n this is constant take it outside and this one we have to uh, simplify using this formula that is summation over the limits k equal to 0 to infinity a to the power k that is equal to 1 by 1 minus a so here a equal to what 1 by 2 hence 2 to the power n 1 by 2 power minus n we can write 2 to the power n for a simplification 1 by divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 uh, this is 1 by 2 uh, hence uh, 1 by 2 we can write 2 to the power minus 1 so if we take to, uh, towards the numerator it becomes 2 to the power plus 1 so uh, uh, then we can write 2 to the power n plus 1 hence y of n equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 it is for what if the value of n lies between minus infinity to 0 it is the first overlap case second overlap case if n is greater than 0 so in the first case what we taken n is less than or equal to 0 we taken in the second case if n is greater than 0 so it is the reference point of second signal n is greater than 0 and now both the signals having minus infinity okay minus infinity is there minus infinity minus infinity now tell me from where to where signals get overlap minus infinity to zero see observe both the cases both colors okay so minus infinity to zero signals get overlap so index becomes uh, limits becomes minus infinity to zero hence uh, in uh, limits becomes y of n equal to uh, summation over the limits uh, minus infinity to zero two to the power k one hence uh, ar uh, arrange the terms nothing but multiply the index by minus one it becomes uh, k equal to infinity k equal to zero so rearrange zero to infinity two to the power minus k uh, two to the power minus k we can write one by two to the power k uh, for the simplification one divided by one minus one by two that is one by two one divided by one by two that is two hence y of n equal to 2 for what n is greater than n is greater than 0 in concise we can write uh, y of n equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 where the value of n varies from minus infinity to 0 uh, it has amplitude of 2 when n is greater than 0 so we have to sketch this result first uh, uh, minus infinity to 0 uh, so up to where uh, if you substitute minus uh, 3 minus 3 means minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 2 to the power minus 2 or we can write 1 by 4 correct next n equal to minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 2 to the power minus 1 means 1 by 2 n equal to minus 2 1 by 2 substitute n equal to 0 0 plus 1 1 2 to the power 1 that is uh, sorry uh, minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 it is 0 2 to the power 0 we have 1 similarly uh, n equal to 0 n equal to 0 means 0 plus 1 1 2 to the power 1 that is 2 next greater than 0 it is 2 it may be 1 2 3 4 5 so on for n is greater than for n is greater than 0 it is 2 hence this is the result of uh, convolution sum between uh, 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 step signal and uh, exponential signal uh, one more uh, uh, example for you as a homework uh, uh, try for this one and uh, write the answer in the comment box evaluate the discrete time convolution sum given below y of n equal to 1 by 
2 to the power n u of n minus 2 convolution uh, convolution sum with uh, u of n so try for this one and put the answer in the comment box thank you